glad to see you've made it. I don't know how you did it, but then again, you survived a giant elevator crash, so I, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Also, again, I apologize for hitting you over the head. In fact, it is for this reason that I believe we should not meet face to face. You see, for whatever reason, I am prone to violent instincts, and I do not trust myself to not give in to them again. I have locked myself inside of a surveillance room. That way I can help without being a danger to you. We are currently on the lowest floor to remain active before everything went awry. There are many floors below us, but they've all remained closed and abandoned for quite some time now. So just make sure not to fall. As for your children, I don't know exactly where they're being kept, but I know someone who does. Head to the aquatic sector. That's where he resides. It just hit me that you need the keycard to operate the cable car. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. Literally everyone had a copy. It's how you'd get from station to station.
You've had a rough day, I can tell. You diligently wait for the moment you leave this wretched place with your child in hand, I can also tell. Not to undermine your effort, but I fear that moment may never come. I cannot let it happen, and I will gladly show you why, but after I do, you take my advice. Leave this place while you still can. Erase it from your memory. Move on and forget any of this ever happened. And I promise you, tomorrow will be a better day. Welcome to my home. Or at least, what was supposed to be my home. Down in the dark and cold depths of the facility, the circumstances force you to do things that are out of your nature. When I feel that I'm straying too far off my original course, I head to the room I found me meditating in to mentally reboot. I come to this place. And then I am reminded that what I'm fighting for is worth all of this pain and suffering. Of course, none of this is real. But it all could be. I have never had actual sun rays touch my skin. Can you imagine that? And I yearn for the day that they finally do. I need the children to achieve that. But do not worry. I will practice the safest of procedures. Whatever I decide to do with the adults, I will make sure to keep one alive and sane so that the surviving children are delivered to the surface safe and sound. And of course, to deliver me to where I choose to be. Oh, to live the simple life of a completely brainless jellyfish, 
Just munching on shrimp and avoiding getting eaten by turtles all day. You never appreciate how calming it is to have no conscience until you have one. I admire your courage, so I am giving you the chance to walk away. Take it. That way you won't lose both your life and the chance to see your child. No liver, no intestines, but most importantly, no pancreas. You, sir, need to have more organs. What am I supposed to eat when there's nothing to eat? Guess I'm going to have to look elsewhere. <laughs>